Jeffrey makes fun of you for living at home with your family. Why don't you just move out, bro? Are you broke? Why are you still living with your family? That's gay. I moved out, but I have no money left now. Jeffrey spends his money just like average people do. As soon as he gets a job, he moves out of his family home and starts rinsing his income. What he makes is what he spends. And so now he's stuck in the rat race. Jeffrey doesn't like his life. He doesn't like his job, but he spends most of the money from his job so that he could move out from his family home just so he can live and keep going back to work. Don't be like Jeffrey. I get comments from average people all the time who say to me that, okay, Hamza, since you started making money, why are you still living at home? And as soon as I get that comment, I know that this is a person who hasn't read a single book on finance or investing. And I think that I've done this in the best way. I moved out at age 19 to move into my university student accommodation. I had a sick time. I partied a lot and then I moved back home so I could create this business with my full intention, Adonis. Adonis's parents put him through the rite of passage. Adonis was thrusted through a series of challenges that would make him into a man. It was only once he had claimed his manhood that he ventured out away from his family in search for his own tribe. Adonis looks back to the years that he lived with his family with love and gratitude. In my opinion, most people are moving out at the exact wrong times. First, let's talk about university. If you're going to university to actually get a good degree and you wanna be a good student, you'd probably be better commuting from home. Not only are you gonna save like 10,000 pounds a month on the expensive rent, like the student accommodations are incredibly expensive, but the rent and all the bills, but also the fact that you'll be going out less, it's better to stay hunkered down and to be in that level of monk mode if you want to get a high level degree. Now that's if you actually want to be a good student. If you're going to university to party and to f move out, 100% I completely, completely support any young man who's felt quite caged in through, you know, the teenage years, you never really like dated in high school, you never were invited to the parties. Well then at university, exactly what I did was that I moved out with the sole intention to make friends and to meet girls. And I am so grateful that I did this. I didn't move out because it would help me with university. That's bullshit. That is complete bullshit. If you have to move to university because you live too far away, okay, fair enough. But chances are that your studies are all online now anyway. Moving out specifically for the social aspect of wanting to be like a bit of a degenerate, wanting to party, wanting to like, you know, level up your social skills. That is actually quite high ROI. We live in this very weird time where a dumbass can go to university, skip the lectures or use them to fall asleep, spend his time just going onto Tinder and nightclubs and making friends and taking drugs and somehow make more money than the people who did everything right in university and like, you know, they, they studied and they did all the stuff. Not everyone can do this and chances are you might not be able to emulate what exactly I did. But at least for me, I only look back with gratitude for this decision. So for university, don't move out if you wanna be a good student, move out only for the social life. Now the next time that you should move out is not when you just go and get your first job. This is the big, big, big mistake that so many young people make. They either go to university or maybe they didn't go to university, but either way, they get their first like career and that's when they go and move out straight away because straight away, they feel more successful living in the city. What they don't realize now is that their life isn't gonna get much better. That yes, they'll be able to live like, you know, the hot girl summer type of bullshit, the city boys type of shit. We're like, they live in the city, they work in, they'll be able to go out on Fridays and Saturdays. We didn't want that life. Let those fucking average people live like that. We didn't want the fucking normal life of the person who lives for fucking Friday. People literally in the UK, they get paid 2,000 pounds a month or even less than that and they'll go and move out to a place that costs them like 800 a month plus all the bills and all this bullshit. And it's like, they have no money left and the career that they're in isn't the thing that they want to do. This blows my mind, okay? The career that they're in isn't the, the dream that they wanted to do. So even though it can level up and they can get some bullshit promotions every now and then, that wasn't like the thing that they're happy to do anyway. And their bank balance and their investing accounts, if any of these fucking average people have investing accounts, don't grow. So this person is waking up at 7 a.m., five days a week, going to work, coming back at like fucking six every single week and nothing changes in their life, nothing improves. They do the entire month of work and all that they get, the reward of it, is the money that allows them to do the entire month of work. There's nothing outside of that. There's no future growth. There's no delaying gratification. When you have a low-level career, you live at home with parents. Don't be a dumbass. Don't move out straight away. Move out when you start making a good amount of money. But then, this is where it gets different, right? Because you need to be an entrepreneur for this. You need to make online income for this. But my mindset personally was that I can move out and either get a shared plate with one other guy or maybe by myself. And it's pretty fucking expensive to do that if you wanna live in like a good city and everything. With the same price or even cheaper, you can go and get a month's stay in almost any place in the world. So I'm talking about the UK versus a place like Thailand or Portugal or Spain or Greece. 
why would you move out to somewhere here if you have like a normal person career and you have to go to like the city like the office and stuff fine but it seems like a lot of young people actually are making online income whether that's through a job that's just remote or they're doing businesses like youtube if you're making online income which in my opinion should be your goal you can live anywhere so perhaps reconsider moving out i stayed in manchester my student city after i graduated and so i was living by all accounts the successful life of a young man who graduated got his degree and was working a full-time job life like that is Shit. And what I found, which has clicked in my mind, is that to live that kind of life of the nine to five, but you're spending all your money, you need a crutch. So for the average people, it's the Friday night, Saturday night, binge drinking, and, and you know, the like, degenerate shit that they do. For me, it was weed, weed and junk food and just like, you know, ordering food from Deliveroo. You need a crutch when you live that life, when you're working for someone else 40 hours a week, but you're actually in work mode for like 60 hours because you've got to get ready and commute and shit. You need like some kind of substance to be addicted to. And everyone who's gonna disagree and say like, oh, but Hamza, you're wrong. It's nine to five jobs are actually really respectful and shit. Like, I'm telling you right now, like that person you're talking about who's like really, you know, he's got a crush too. He's addicted to fucking alcohol or some bullshit, bro. I know this video is supposed to be about like when to move out, but I think a bigger, more important thing is for me to really push you for the importance of online income. I feel like that's becoming such a need in this new world. Like the, the amount of freedom that it gives you is, is insane. Like it actually blows my mind that people still work like normal jobs where they have to go to like an office and they're like they're forced to work at a particular time. When you make your own business and you know, it's kind of like simple advice. Like, yeah, be a YouTuber and shit. Like if you do it, if you put in the work, like there's no reason why you can't do what I'm doing. With that freedom of online income, then you go and choose where you want to live. Once you have this, you might not agree right now, but just please believe me. Once you start making the online income, that's when your mind will open up and you'll be like, wait, why the f would I want to move to like some random city next to my hometown? Like, why would I move to like f Liverpool or something when like for the same amount per month or even cheaper, you can go to almost any city in the world. That's the right time to move out. And so with all those comments that I get, I'm like, oh, why haven't you moved out yet? It's because I'm delaying gratification. I could go and move out to some random place in the UK and I could go live the same life and like you know, everyone will be proud of me because, oh, look, Hamza's renting, he's living by himself. But I don't care about that level of social validation. For me, the idea to spend like a thousand a month to live in some city in the UK and like just be f***ing surrounded by unhappy people and grey skies and rain and bullshit or to go and spend like 800 a month in any exotic country that I want. This is the clear winner. If you're not going to pursue entrepreneurship and online income, at the very least, wait up until you get a good career, which is nice and stable, to then move out. If you can stay at your family home and commute to work, that's when you have the opportunity to get the ball rolling with your investments. And that is actually the thing that gives you the freedom and the time to then go and make the business that makes you the online income. Something to think about. This is a very, very, very big choice. Even if you're just thinking about a six to 12 month tenancy in like some apartment next to your workplace, you should spend a good amount of time really, really thinking about this decision. But f man, I'm actually so f grateful that I make money online. I can't like, it literally hits me sometimes that like, that's not normal. That like a lot of people still have to, like even young people still have to like go to their job and they're like forced to work certain hours and all this bullshit. Man. And I, I probably sound like I'm boasting or some like, you know, some a lot of people don't like it when I talk about this stuff and they say like I'm making fun of the nine to five. But bro, like I've done both, right? I've done both. I've done the nine to five and I've done the online income stuff and I can't even explain how better this life is. And someone says, oh, but the nine to five is good for me. I like it. But like, bro, have you made online income? Have you made a successful business yet? If you can compare both and you tell me you like the nine to five, fantastic. I'm happy for you. But if you can't compare both, then shut your mouth, bro. Shut your mouth. Don't do this bullshit that you haven't experienced, like you haven't put in the work for the online income, the, the, the dream that you've actually wanted, but then you're just coping right now and just saying like, oh, like, but, but the, the career is nice and stable. Shut the f up, bro. I promise you, if you're watching this as a young man and you've got both options, you've done both, you've got the money from the career, but also from the online income, from like some online business. I'm telling you right now, of course, you're gonna be like more happy about this one. Of course, this is the one you're gonna take more seriously. So whilst I could explain to you like, oh yeah, like, you know, make sure you get a, 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 an apartment that's like really close to your workplace and everything. I think I should just use this video more as just a reminder of the importance of just making the fucking modern day business because that's the best case scenario. Do hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.